Since most of what we're talking about in this course involves Perl in some manner or another, let's take just a moment and look at what Perl is, where it came from, and all of that. Perl was originally written by a guy named Larry Wall, who used to work at NASA. He worked on their Unix systems and um, wanted one tool that would do the job of a bunch of other tools, and so he wrote Perl. Perl's come a long way since then, so has Larry. He no longer works at NASA. Now he works at O'Reilly, and he works on Perl full-time. Perl, according to Larry Wall, stands for Practical Extraction and Reporting Language. Of course, he also says it stands for Pathologically Eclectic Rubbish Lister, but I think most of us understand the first one a lot better than we understand the second one. The philosophy behind Perl, there's more than one way to do it, refers to the fact that Perl accepts types of syntax that have a lot of different histories that might be familiar to people who've written in a lot of different programming languages. It has bits of C in it. It has bits of shell scripting in it. It has bits of this and that in the syntax of the language, and there's more than one way to do it. Sometimes you can do the same thing in a C-ish way or in a shell-ish way. And uh, because of that, it tends to be a popular language amongst a broad spectrum of different types of programmers with different histories. Perl is an interpreted language. What does that mean? It's interpreted as opposed to compiled. Compiled languages, meant for big complex applications, they take the source code and they run it through a compiler and create code that runs directly in the machine, in the computer itself, called machine language. Interpreted languages, on the other hand, are generally for applications that are written quickly and change a lot. And so they're not run through a compiler. Instead, at runtime, they're run through an interpreter. So when you run an interpreted language, you use an interpreter to run that language. Whereas when you run a compiled language, it just runs natively in the machine. The point of all of that is that interpreted languages are easier to use, but somewhat slower. As an example, a web page is really an interpreted language. HTML is interpreted by your web browser. Likewise, Perl is interpreted by the Perl interpreter and is also an interpreted language in the same way. Because of its history, Perl is good at text. By way of background, Unix has always been a textish language. It was originally written in a very small lab by some people who were tired of the complexity of the project that they'd been working on before, and they set out to make a an operating system that would be easy to manipulate and easy to change. They made all the configuration in text files, and Unix is that way today. Because of that, the tools that are typically found on a Unix machine are very textish, and Perl was developed to replace a lot of those tools, and so Perl inherited that strong textish leaning of the Unix operating system. The point of all of that is, is that the HTML and the web itself are also very textish partly because they have the same history. Uh, they were all developed also on Unix systems. And so as a result, all the protocols involved in the web, all of the things that web browsers and web servers and mail servers and all those things you see on the Internet do, all tend to be very textish and are exactly the sort of thing that Perl was designed to do. As a result, Perl is very good at the sorts of things you need to do in a web browser or a web server.